thank you so much for clicking this video and as some of you may know or may not know dr wayne dyer has made his transition this week and i am so grateful for all the value he added to this world and i don't feel a sense of loss i just feel a sense of completion when i think of him because he added so much value all his empire of books and interviews and speeches i'm so so happy and i was listening to his interview with oprah this week about manifestation and how she asked him about the difference between law of attraction and manifestation and how he explained that you know it's not so much about just thinking 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 about the same thing and just drawing in things it is about being in tune with your source and this resonated with me because I was like that in the beginning of my journey where it was so much about the visualization and about attracting this and I was still in that mindset of if I attract this if I manifest this I will be so happy I will feel so complete I will feel so light you know I will have all these feelings of excitement and ecstasy I was stuck in that mindset at the beginning of my journey and as my journey continued, and as I began to fall in love with myself and release you know all the negative things from the past and develop new beliefs and just meditation practicing gratitude living in the moment exercising doing yoga as my journey got deeper and deeper I started to acquire these feelings I thought I would have once my goals manifested and it really surprised me and it really brought me so much joy because I'm like oh my goodness you know here it is I'm so happy I'm so joyful I feel so at ease I feel so peaceful and a lot of the things I said I needed for these feelings to come about wasn't even in my life and it brought me such a great awakening because I realized so much that what we're really striving for is the state of being you know we want the beautiful cars or the relationship or the home or the money because of the feelings they bring and once you have these feelings you will no longer feel attached to them manifesting you will no longer feel desperate you will no longer feel like you need them you know you will no longer be waiting around seeing what's manifesting or or labeling your worthiness on whether or not you have a lot of things or a lot of your goals has manifested and that is what I love to teach and that is what I love to encourage everyone about is become happy without it find your happy place you know it does take practice because you know going through a lot of negative things in the past and growing up on negative belief systems unwinding all of those things takes time because you didn't develop those belief system overnight you know it took years of repetition so don't expect you know overnight results don't be so hard on yourself about becoming happy overnight or feeling at peace overnight so along my journey I found all this peace all this joy all this love just started pouring out of me without the things I said I need and Dr. Dwayne Dyer, he reminded me of that because when I was listening to that this week, it really hit me that, you know what, he's really right. And I know the secret teaches about drawing things in. And so many times people get so attached to drawing things in that they become frustrated, disappointed because they think that is what it is all about. But it is all about being in alignment with your source. Whatever you choose to call your source, I call my source the universe or simply source and it is about being in tune and once I became happy once I achieved this state of unconditional happiness you know I no longer judge others who weren't where I'm at mentally I no longer felt a sense of lack or a sense of impatience with my desires to be honest I really don't even need them and paradoxically that is the state of being where your desires do come to fruition I'm not desperate for them another thing about unconditional happiness is I don't have to wait until something exciting in my life is happening to have fun or to 
feel good. You know, I can just be washing dishes and bring passion to that and that becomes enjoyable. You know, just the fact of having gratitude that I have plates to wash because I have food to eat. That just brings me joy. And I feel proud of myself. I no longer feel like I need to prove myself to others. I no longer feel like I have to hide my beliefs. The state of unconditional happiness has brought me so much peace and I don't feel a sense of pride so much you know I'm more open asking questions and, and I realized that I stopped caring so much about what other people think of me like I start wearing my hair how I want to wear my hair I start wearing clothes I like and you know acting the way I want to look and I started seeing the miracles in my life right now in the present moment I started being grateful for where I am with what I have and just viewing everything as a miracle because believe it or not wherever you are in life or whatever you have there's someone out there who's dreaming for all that you have who's dreaming for your exact life scenario and being happy has allowed me to view others with compassion instead of you know being upset at them or ridicule them looking down upon them because they're not doing the things I'm doing or they're not as happy as I am so thank you guys so much for watching this week and I will see you next week. Bye.